Yeah, Christine, last year the FDA briefly paused the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine at pharmacies like this one. Now, though, it is going even further, limiting its use with some exceptions, all because of some very rare and serious cases like the one you're about to hear. Doctors called her one in a million a week after getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Then 18-year-old Emma Berkey developed blood clots and seizures. The Nevada teen was brought to Loma Linda last year. A family spokesman telling us at the time. She was airlifted here in an induced coma on a ventilator um, and really fighting for her life. A year later, Berkey is on the mend and in physical therapy six hours a day to recover. And now the FDA is limiting the emergency use authorization of the J&J &J vaccine, citing TTS, a rare but dangerous clotting disorder. The FDA is restricting its use to those 18 and older who don't have access or can't or won't get the other COVID shots, saying in a statement, today's action demonstrates the robustness of our safety surveillance systems and our commitment to ensuring that science and data guide our decisions. This is a very rare side effect, um, but the, the data has borne out that it, that it does exist. Um, it, it happens very infrequently, but because we have other vaccines that are, uh, have a much better safety profile, it makes sense that they limit the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Dr. Anne Ramoyne is a professor of epidemiology at UCLA and calls it the right move, pointing out that the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines have fewer side effects and are more effective. So it makes sense that uh, they, they really focus the attention on using the, the best vaccines available, the ones that provide the um, you know, better protection. More than 17 million Americans have received a jab of the J&J, &J, and federal scientists have identified 60 cases of the side effect, nine of them fatal. Berkey is among those who survived. It's one in a million, you know, to the whole population, but it's one in one to them. And tonight, Johnson & Johnson put out a statement saying it is working with regulators worldwide to make sure that consumers are informed and fully aware of reports of TTS. Live in Santa Monica, Christy Fajardo, Fox 11 News.